How to fix Roblox error code 279. The first thing you want to do is head over to my website, which is the first link in the description below. Scroll down and you'll find a link to Down Detector. If you open up that website, you'll be able to see if Roblox is even down and if the issue is on Roblox's end. If the issue is on Roblox's end, then you'll just have to wait it out until Roblox fixes their servers or whatever. And the best way to tell is if you see a giant spike, especially if it's near to the right. The next way you can fix Roblox error code 279 is by restarting your router. And the way you're going to do that is just by unplugging and plugging your router, or you can press a restart button if your router has that. It'll take a few minutes but eventually your wi-fi will come back and that could fix the error if none of these solutions have worked you could try a vpn you can find many on the internet but it'll allow you to connect to a different region and get onto roblox servers separately and in none of that worked you can head back over to my website and head over to speed test basically this website allows you to check your internet speed after the test runs make sure you have at least have four to eight mbps if it's below that i would recommend getting new internet or moving on to the next option. Okay, so next you'll want to ensure that your network hardware works properly. So excuse this mess at the back of my computer, but basically if your computer has this, it's gonna be this giant black rod. And make sure that it's actually screwed in properly and that there's no issues with the way that it works. But if this is broken, I would recommend buying a new Wi-Fi dongle which you can connect with a USB port. This will allow you to get a better connection to the Roblox servers. Now none of that worked, I want you to open up your Windows tab, open up the settings, and search up troubleshooting. Open up troubleshoot settings, click other troubleshooters, then press network and internet. It's gonna run a test and make sure that your internet is working properly. If it's not working properly, it'll give you a ton of different fixes on what you need to do to change your Wi-Fi or change the settings. And just follow those instructions if you do have any issues. But that's about it. If this video helped, please leave a like down below or subscribe. Thanks for watching. Yeah.